Hey, I'm Rejected Shotgun, and welcome back to another Halo 3 modding video. Today, I finally created something I've wanted to do for so, so long now, which is to try my best at recreating Bungie's Global Battles mode that was cut from the development of Halo Reach, actually. But from this footage here, you can see they were prototyping it in the Halo 3 engine. It's really interesting. It's essentially a massive large scale battle with AI and all kinds of crazy stuff going on. But it never came to fruition and all we have is this footage. So I thought I wanted to make it myself. And if you have watched my channel before, this is actually the same video that my other mod Arcbound was based off of, but that ended up becoming something entirely different. All that being said, this mod is super fun and I'm gonna go jump in game here in a second so I can kind of talk you through how this all works. But first I want to say if you want to download this, I'll be putting this up for download. So check the description for the link. And if it's not there, go join my discord server where I'll ping everyone once it is available for download. And as a quick sellout moment, I do have a Patreon. So if you want to support me and get updates on what mods I'm working on and be able to participate in play tests with me, go check out my Patreon in the description below. All that aside, let's jump into game and see how all this works. And here we are on my Arc AI war map. This is so, so much fun. Right off the get-go, you can see the humans start flying in. You can see phantoms from all directions are flying in. The battle is about to get started. The warthogs charge in right off the get-go. They already begin to engage the phantoms. Phantoms drop off, boom, a wraith. Here comes the scarab as these two ghosts come down. And the AI are getting dropped out of the phantom there. All of the Marines are charging down the hill and the battle is beginning. I often find myself just zoning out as I'm working on this mod and watching these fights play out as though I was the RTS camera and it is so great. But definitely the best part is being able to come up behind your Marine allies and help them out and participate in the battle, which is so crazy. This definitely is giving me some ideas for an RTS mod like that one I did for Reach a little while ago but obviously way better with these awesome new Halo 3 mod tools that are out. So what's really interesting about this mod and when you play it is that if I were to go through and kill an entire squad such as those wraiths or ghosts, you will see that eventually after a short time, once the squad is dead, a phantom will come back and actually replenish the ranks which means these AI battles never stop. They just keep on going. So it looks like the Covenant forces have been wiped out completely. Here is a new Wraith. Here are some new ghosts and the squad for replacing all of the Covenant infantry is right here and you can watch them kind of pop on out. It's really cool. The only thing that currently doesn't respawn correctly right now is the Scarab, but by the time I end up releasing this, it might as well. There's a couple of bugs and things, like sometimes the dropships will disappear rather than fully unload all of the AI, but stuff like that's totally fixable and I don't imagine it'll be a main problem. And here we have our Pelican coming back to replenish our UNSC troops. I wanted to have more than just one Pelican for all of the UNSC AI, but they're really strong and all they really need is this amount of troops and generally they win against the Covenant, which is kind of crazy. My guess is because these damn warthogs are so strong. I wanted to add hornets and banshees, but well, if you played Halo 3, you know how overpowered the hornet is. This wouldn't be much of a fair fight. Essentially, however, this battle will go on indefinitely. The Marines are just gonna keep on pursuing the Covenant infantry up the hill. The vehicles are gonna be replenished constantly, but one of the cool things that you'll see a lot is here we have a Marine in one of the ghosts. He's hijacked the ghost and taken it for himself. And that happens a lot here. I've seen the Marines hijack them. I've seen these brutes who spawn out of the Phantom will go take one of the downed ghosts and start getting into the battle that way, as well as getting into the wraiths and stuff. It's really, really cool. Also, as a small side note, oh, there's one of the bugs I'm working on. As a small side note, this thing is super cool. I was never able to get this to work prior to having mod tools. And now that I have mod tools, it was super easy. This is a very nice piece of scenery. Double side note, however, there is a very fun, well, there's two very fun Easter eggs on this map, and if you find them, well, props to you, because they're pretty fun, and I think you'll enjoy them. All I'll say is they're very much the kind of Easter egg you would expect to see from a modder. But all right, the battle's been raging on for a while now. It's about time I got in here and I started taking care of some stuff. Let's get this scarab down and let's get this battle to the side of the UNSC. Uh, double side note, if you like playing as an elite and you don't want to be friendly with the UNSC, 
you can join the orange team on multiplayer on Forge, and that will ally you with the Covenant, and then the UNSC will be your enemies. So you actually do have that option, and uh, it's a pretty neat quirk of the Halo 3 engine that you can do that. That also means, even though these AI don't sync very well online, if one of your friends is fine with the AI looking super weird on their end, you could both battle each other and kind of see these AI well, you would see the AI just fine if you were hosting the game, and then unfortunately your friend would see it uh, very laggy and glitchy. But technically you could be on separate teams with one of you as Covenant and one of you as UNSC, and it would, well, it would work. And I'm pretty sure that your uh, cubby friend would be pretty upset to see this scarab get blown up. It's quite the asset. Oh no, my poor marines! <laughs> <laughs> no. Overall, I have to say this is one of the most fun mods I've made. It's just pure chaos, pure mayhem. If you enjoy this mod and other mods that I have made in the past, please do leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel as well if you're interested in seeing more crazy Halo mods like this. I'm just scratching the surface right now of what these mod tools can do. And I've got much, much more planned. So if you want to see it, do be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That's all for this video, though. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.